What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9, a budget smartphone from Xiaomi that a lot of people apparently have problems with. I did mention in my previous update video that I'm a bit disappointed regarding MIUI 12 here. But I just updated mine to version 12.0.5 and it's actually great now. And you know what else is great mga kuya? Coffee ko blanca. Coffee ko's creamiest coffee is now even creamier mga kuya. Dinagdagan pa with 10% more so more creamy coffee para sa atin. Pero kahit na mas creamier ito ay lasa mo pa rin ang coffee. This is a good coffee recommendation especially to the people who are new to coffee who don't want a strong coffee taste. Start your day with a hot cup of Copico Blanca. You can get your Copico Blanca at your local supermarkets or Sari Sari stores. Take note, the maximum recommended intake of coffee should be 3 times a day. So easy lang kayo. So I wasn't actually planning on making another video on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 but to my surprise, it's actually a great experience now. Significantly better to when I first got this back in June. So just like what I said earlier mga kuya, we are currently running on MIUI 12.0.5 on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 and if for some reason wala pa yung update na to sa inyo then I'll show you how to manually update it by the end of this video. So for now I'll show you guys how smooth of an experience this is right now with the uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So first off mga kuya I'll show you split screen multitasking which is something that the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 really struggled with when I first got this. So it really lagged a lot when I have a split screen multitasking open and as you can see it's a significantly just a great experience Mga kuya. So at the top we have YouTube, at the bottom we have Chrome open with the um, Xiaomi website and yeah, it's a really smooth experience mga kuya. Next smartphone review nga pala natin mga kuya. So as you can see mga kuya, I was able to do split screen multitasking without any problems, without any hiccups. And yeah, I'm just impressed with Xiaomi with this update. Of course, I'll show you guys some more performance shits. And if you guys haven't heard of this, just a small trick mga kuya, which I think a lot of people don't know, is uh, speeding up your phone by going into developer options. So how to unlock developer options? Simply uh, tap the MIUI version until it shows that you are now a developer. Go into additional settings and scroll down to developer options mga kuya. And scroll down until you see... These three options, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So basically, set that all to 0.5 and you'll have a significantly snappier experience with your Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 or pretty much any Android phone in general, mga kuya. So yeah, very nice. So ever since updating to 12.0.5, mga kuya, none of the apps that I use crashes anymore, uh, especially Messenger, which I had a lot of problems with uh, when I first got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Uh, maybe except for Genshin Impact. So uh, up until now, Genshin Impact is still unplayable here on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So uh, actually, I'm not sure if that's with the uh, MediaTek Helio G85 that's in here. If it's uh, underpowered, um, it may be with optimization issues. I'm not sure. But for now, Genshin Impact is still unplayable here on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Mga kuya. I just wanted to let you know. And two of the games actually that the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 really struggled with, at least with my experience, is Wild Rift and Call of Duty Mobile. So uh, optimization-wise, it wasn't good. But now I'll show you guys how much of a better gaming experience you can have with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So we are now running League of Legends Wild Rift. Mga kuya. And regarding the graphic settings, we are on the balanced graphics. So as you can see mga kuya, there's really no hiccups or lags here. Um, so I've been playing a Wild Rift a lot ever since updating to 12.0.5 and it's been yeah just a better experience compared to um, before uh, updating to 12.0.5. Look, long ulit. Makatika, buisit. So yeah, kita nyo naman. Really smooth experience mga kuya, with Wild Rift. And uh, moving on to another game that the um, Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 really struggled to run on here. So next up nga is Call of Duty Mobile. So we are now running Call of Duty Mobile mga kuya, and we are in the medium graphics settings with high frame rate enabled. Right, na yari na. Mag-start na ba? Ewan ko. Throwing grenade, wala ko lang! Frag out, Contact, nasa yung contact. 
Asam ba? Kerkes kapan? Ye. Ye, sampah. Ui. Lepet, lepet na bata. Well, dito ba yung base ng parang ano mga kalaban? Yung spawn nila ay sira ulo ka. So when I first got this mga kuya, I wasn't able to run Call of Duty Mobile all that uh, smoothly and now it's uh, a really good experience mga kuya. Ito naman ako pupunta naman ako sa spawn ng kalaban. Boom! Ang ginagawa ko, ay hindi, napatay na pala yun. Ah, hindi, umaka-headshot. Diyos ko po. What am I doing? Ikaw, what are you doing? You don't see me? You don't see me, bro? Paano ito ginagamit? Yeah. Well, mo na, paano, paano ginagamit yung mga ito? <laughs> uh, pero yun nga mga kuya. Wala akong paki, hindi naman to rank match eh. And regarding better life mga kuya, it's pretty much the same, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I'm still getting my 7 to 8 hours of screen on time. Uh, sometimes more depends on what I'm doing on my Redmi Note 9. But for the most part, that's excellent better life. And regarding camera quality, it's pretty much the same, which isn't a bad thing also. Uh, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 already had a good picture quality. Still the same mediocre video quality, which uh, I think is the only thing that's... Uh, keeping me from recommending this right now but even if uh, Xiaomi fixes that uh, the Poco M3 is out right now mga kuya. Which is our next smartphone review by the way. So abangan nyo nga po yun. Unboxing and first impressions muna nga pala. And of course if wala pa ang version 12.0.5 for some reason sa uh, unit nyo mismo mga kuya then this is how you can easily update it. Just simply download the recovery ROM from XDA developers. I'll leave the link in the description. Download the global version. Of course it depends on which version you actually have. In the internal storage of your device if it doesn't have the downloaded underscore ROM folder then just create one yourself. And just simply copy the zip file that you downloaded here. Go to settings about phone and system update. Press the three dot icon on the top right corner and choose update package. And just navigate to the zip file that you copied to downloaded underscore ROM. And after waiting for the update to finish, you now have MIUI 12.0.5 on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Makuya. And yeah, Redmi Note 9 owners rejoice as you now have a great smartphone. A significantly better smartphone to when you first got this. And even though the Redmi Note 9 is a great smartphone right now, I actually don't recommend this as the Poco M3 is out right now. Now, again, abangan nyo yun sa susunod na unboxing and first impressions natin. Although, if you can get this in the used market for a good price, then this is still a good deal, mga kuya. And I guess this video is more for the people who currently own the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 and were planning on selling it. So, you actually don't need to sell this, mga kuya. Again, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 is a great smartphone now. I think I didn't forget anything. Of course, if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Special thanks again to Copico Blanca for sponsoring this video. Leave a like if you did, dislike if you feel like you have to to consider subscribing and of course turn on notifications mga kuya since a lot of the people that subscribing to the channel aren't getting updates on my latest videos. As always, use my Shopee, Lazada, or Banggood affiliate link if you're buying anything from them. Like my Facebook page for gaming live streams and other updates and stuffs that I don't post on YouTube. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!